Encouraging numbers on the nation's health. Breast cancer deaths have declined 20% and cervical cancer mortality rates have dropped more than 50% in the past 30 years. Doctors say much of the credit goes to routine screenings. However, there's a worrisome note. During this pandemic, the number of people getting screened has dropped dramatically. Melanie Lawson tells us why these and other screenings are so important. As of April, colonoscopies have dropped by 90%. Mammograms and cervical cancer pap tests have dropped by 94% compared with rates for the past three years. This is disturbing for doctors who believe these tests save lives. We've gotten to that mindset that maybe we don't need to see the doctor, don't need to follow guidelines. Dr. Scott Lind, a surgical oncologist with Orange Park Medical Center, says it's time to get back to the basics. We've made tremendous advances over the last 20 years related to cancer control and improving uh, outcomes related to cancer. And a big part of that has been that screening. Dr. Lin says it's clear the coronavirus is going to ebb and flow, but cancer screenings should not. And if you're wondering if you should just wait until next year, he believes that's dangerous. I would not wait. Um, I think there's some estimates that if you wait, we're going to have and we are seeing more advanced cases of cancer related to the delays in screening. So follow the guidelines, talk to your physician, uh, and get your screening. Cancers that are caught early have a much better rate of survival. And while telehealth has been a great resource during the pandemic, it can't replace everything. It's been very helpful, but there's not a whole lot of screening you can do there. It's got some limitations. You have to actually go get these procedures, your pap smear, your mammogram, your colonoscopy your um, CT scan for screening for lung cancer, all those guidelines. Talk with your doctor about your options. As Dr. Lind said, you don't want to wait a year until your next scheduled screening because it could make the difference between a small cancer that's manageable and one that's deadly or needs more aggressive treatment. On newsforjax.com right now, there is a link to the American Cancer Society screening recommendations per age group. Melanie Lawson, Channel 4, The Local Station.